got in here in the box because the box kind of opens up a little bit weird. So I'm going to move that back like that and I'm going to see if I can do that with the box. Okay, open sesame. And here we go. So we got two of them, identical on each side. Let's see what they are in three, two, one. There it is. Hiding it way too long for me, guys. So we got two LED taillights and not only these LED, but they're also tinted, smoked, and yeah they look great so the uh, it does it does um use your factory factory reverse light bulb so i could change that to led but we also got the led brake portion i think this is the running light we got the brake portion it utilizes your factory halogen bulb you have in there for the reverse light so there is something i have a question for you guys on on these ask you the question Get out of here right? the question i had was actually right here oh what right here this middle plug right here this middle one i'm thinking it's for a trailer or something but i have no plug for this at all I also only utilize one plug, so it doesn't corrode or whatever. Black electrical tape over this hole. It's gonna go over right over it, assuming that it's aluminum, so it'll be okay. Or what? Tape over the plug as well. Tape over the plug, push it in, tape over the hole. About that time again, about that time again. This is, uh, what brand is this? You are talking about right there. Thing taken care of there. Ooh. Ooh. A little bit too loud there, sorry. All right, let's go. Glass vinegar and water and you can see nice and glass container there it's an amber bottle so keep it fresh clean up these factory ones because i'm probably going to hold on to them just in case you know i might use them again so i figured i'd keep the oh yeah a little backstory on these i actually cracked both of them in the span of owning this truck and yeah these are both aftermarket i think eagle eye brand yeah they've held up pretty well I'm gonna wipe them down just a little bit right there just a little tad bit tad bit looking good can't forget about that boom <laughs> yeah don't use the circle motion i learned that the hard way there we go Ooh, you missed the smudge Oh jeez, this reminds me of when I did a taillight replacement video a long time ago. But yeah, let's um, get these off. I did color match these screws. I brought two screwdrivers just in case. Pretty easy on these. Unlock your tailgate, put it down, take a Phillips, and there's just two screws right here. Color match the screws so I hope I don't chip too much paint. So now the seal is gone. And then, well, I guess we, all we got is a walrus. Alright, make sure you use the star pattern. And that the back of this is probably covered in dust and dirt and mud. Drive these through storms in the mud. So it's always harder when you're dealing with aftermarket parts. I'll tell you that. Should be able to pull it out. Oh, piles of dirt. Did you hear that? To clean this up a bit. Dang. Oh, longer than I thought on this one. He's light. Whoop! Eat home sarsaparilla. Covered in dirt. Turn these bulbs. One light. Here's a little close up of the clean product in the bulb. Remember driving a little bit with this and you now off road a little bit without a tail lights if you remember that dang it where's the screwdriver oh there it is all right i hope it's not as bad as the other side we'll guess we'll figure that out ah. all right this should be a better angle to get in those wrist workout come on man we're really running out of daylight if you can give me a little bit but we're sun today what happens when you live up in new england new england yeah laying in the bed sure is uncomfortable now that the mat is gone i don't know whose brilliant idea that was oh you got to be kidding me bro dang nabbit power of the 10,000 subscribers strikes again. All right, here we go. Last screw. It's probably going to fall out because I'm not there to hold it. I hope it doesn't fall out. All right. Oh, that is the other one. Make sure different dirt from like three different states, but yeah. Let's go from the hot exhaust. All right. These plugs off. Don't want any contamination into the new lights. So you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Crikey. Yes. Yeah. Better get around those gaskets. You don't want those that dirt going inside. Wasn't as bad. It never is. Rust starting. Freaking body rust. Well, there's that. You're on up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gradually getting darker, the werewolves are about to appear. Alright, alright. What I want to do, okay. Well, that's one. Where these bulbs are burnt, I don't know. It's just, they look so... Right, and there's number two. Clean that off right real quick. Oh. That one off. Probably whenever I did that off-roading down to the river and scratched up my vehicle. Token to my chief. All the off-roading that I've done on this truck since I was born. I was only thinking, ever, ever thought about, you know, like if the original owner, whoever they did, would ever think that this was theirs. Because whoever owned mine before towed lightly and didn't even leave a speck of dirt or wear or anything in the inside of the vehicle. Out real quick, give me a second. Here's number one. Here comes number two coming right at you. Bulbs on this side look a lot better than the other ones, and they are... Oh, let me check this real quick. No, these are not. All right, so one of them is not Sylvania brand. All the other ones are, so yeah. All right, cool. 
So I switched in the ugliest bulbs first. I want to get those dirty ones, the ones that look almost burnt out first. Factor in the other newer ones whenever they burn out. All right, so we got those. Now it's time to install tails. Nope. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna plug this bottom one in. Can already hear the wolves now. Oh no. Gosh. Couple scratches later, but we finally got it in there. Come on, man. Mm -mm. All right, now for the last side, if this will ever work. Hey. Technical difficulty. Pretty dang awesome. It's a Toyota now. But like I said, I can't get the left side yet because I got to get those mountain things on. So it looks like I'm going to have to rock a stock taillight with the aftermarket one on the other side. Well, guys, I messed up. I accidentally bought GMC taillights. Those taillights are for GMC and do not fit my truck. Tried everything to get them in there, but yeah, I messed up. Dang it. Ah! Tuned and deleted. Gas. Continuation to this video, we found a buyer for the lights, actually found a lot of buyers, so only two that are really interested. And I, because the first buyer, I've talked to him for a while, I'm gonna meet up with the guy that's farther away, and I'm gonna take this opportunity to explore the area once again. It's gonna be a great place, because we are heading back to the center of Pennsylvania, and a very prominent place that you guys are gonna recognize as soon as we see it, you guys are gonna know where we're at. But it's pretty far away, and I'm actually meeting in the middle of nowhere to actually facilitate the deal. Didn't expect to sell these this quick, but we are, and that way we can actually get the right product. But yeah, GMC taillights, man. And if you can, if you can tell, bike with me as well. So yeah, we got a good amount of drive left, over an hour, but it's always worth it when you're out in the middle of whatever, mountain country. <laughs> Bald Eagle State Forest this time. That's what I'm talking about. Oh! <laughs> Pennsylvania State University right there. Uh, Stadium. Oh. Let's roll. Currently in the search for food right now. Being rained on really bad. Hey guys, currently waiting out the rain. Taillights are gone. The money in hand with some money left over besides for fuel that I need to, well, buy the correct form of the modification that we did the other day. So yeah, I've seen that video, yeah. Rainy day out here, but I can look past that because we're in one of the most mountainy areas ever that I've been to. I'm gonna try to check out some more of the area, show you guys, bring you guys along after we get some food. And yeah, nothing like a quick chipper pull. I mean, burrito something. What the hell are they doing? I wanna see these stacks fired up, roll some coal out of them. 1898. And there it is, the old man. Something I didn't see the last time I was here. It's crazy, man. The scale of that thing. Wow. Yeah, I gotta head there for a game. It's not an American flag. It looks pretty standard. Right, so I'm here at the Penn State Stadium. I did not expect to be able to see this. Crazy that mountain is. Wow. Mountain, isn't it? You know, you guys there. Sounds like a plan. Yep, biking pretty far away from it now because the exercise isn't over. This has got to be like eight hours, eight hours, ten hours, dang. Going on, okay. So just checked into my new apartment here. Yeah, I'm just going to get situated for a little bit and then look for the correct mods for my truck. So the takeaway from this video is that the GMC 1500s, 2500s, and 3500 single rear wheels use a different model taillight than the 07 to 13 Chevys. The Silverado. What you got to remember is that the 3500 Duallys have the same taillights as all the Chevys. So that's the only difference. But standard rear wheel for 1500, 2500, 3500, they use different taillights. Taillights are gone now, but I mean, someone that's going to get better use out of them than I am because I got a Silverado. Looks like we're going back to the back to the drawing board on that one. Peace.